Hey guys, it's Connor. I'm here with my best buddy, Benelli. She is a one-year-old black lab. Benelli has been to retriever school, but I did a lot of the training myself. And today I want to show you what she can do. Basic obedience commands, like tear, sit, down, and heel. Heel is what you say when you want the dog to walk beside you as if they're walking on a leash. Benelli, here! Down. Heel. Commands that are a little more advanced. One is mark, which means she's looking for a bird. Mark. Her name is the cue to retrieve. Benelli. That is a basic marked retrieve, which means the marked is the dog's confidence in itself to watch the object go down. Blind retrieves are the dog's faith in you to guide them where to go. And those use hand signals. But now he's just now starting to learn the hand signals. So Benelli is also trained to find deer sheds, and so her favorite game is me hiding sheds and then telling her to go find them, and she hunts really hard for them, and she loves it. She actually found these. Find it! Find the sheds! So these are a lot of the things I use when training Benelli. So if you're interested in training dogs, I really recommend this video. It's called Water Dog and it's by Richard Walters. And it takes it all the way from a puppy into advanced training. But if you're gonna go that far, I also recommend this book. It's called Advanced Retriever Training. And it really makes the advanced things easier on you and the dog, it just explains them really well. The bumpers are a tool for the dog to learn, and they treat them as a tool. They make the ones that are actually shaped like a duck, and yeah, they're good, and it makes, and it teaches the dog to actually pick up the duck by the breast, and it kind of shows them what they look like, but they're pretty expensive and honestly unnecessary. And then lastly, if you're gonna hunt with the dog, a lot of people get these vests. My theory on them is that if you're hunting in a field, they're really great because they're insulated and keep the dog warm. But if you're hunting in water, I almost think they make the dog colder because they hold the water in. And a lab's fur genetically is made to help them shed water and keep them warm. And when they shake, it gets the water off. And I think, and this prevents them from being able to shake and get the water off. I know these are controversial, but when training a dog for hunting or competition, a shock collar is really important. And honestly, like Benelli's my best friend. She sleeps in my bed every night. So if it hurt her, I obviously wouldn't use it. I'll post a link where you can get all these things in the description. So if you liked the video, subscribe and give it a like. Thanks, I'll see you next time.